This is Ron Palou with NetSmart Technology, and I welcome you to Airs, Entering a Group Activity. In this online video tutorial, you will learn how to use the Batch Group Enrollment Utility to enroll multiple clients into a group, and complete the data entry of a group activity. Let's get started. To start, we would go into our session-based encounters. Here we see our session-based encounters menu. We can simply right-click our mouse to expand all. And under group activities, we see the two options, batch group enrollments, and then group activities. Let's start with our batch group enrollments. So once we highlight batch group enrollments to enter a new group enrollment, we would start by clicking on add. Once we click add, you'll see this little pair of binoculars becomes enabled. So first we want to select our group. So we can click on our group. I'll select the top group, healthy choices, and click select. If I wish to view those individuals who are enrolled in our group already, I can click View Enrollees. And here we can see a listing of all those individuals who are already enrolled into our group. Once I view that, we can close the list by clicking on the little red X. Enter an enrollment start date for our new batch of clients. So put today. Select our worker, which is optional. And then when I click locate clients, a list of names will appear. The number of potential enrollees will be displayed at the bottom. And then whomever I'd like to enroll into my group, I would simply put a little check next to their name here on the left. So I'll select these three people. And then when I click Save up at the top, a message is now displayed. The following activity was performed during this process. Three clients were enrolled in the group. Use the Group Activities option to access the information just entered. So if I click OK, and if I go back to View Enrollees, and scroll all the way down to the bottom, I'll now see those clients that I just enrolled in the group. Now if I was to enter a group activity as of this start date, those clients' names would be available for selection. To enter my group activity, I would click on Group Activities over here on the left, select my group by clicking on this little pair of binoculars, so click here, select our group, now, start by clicking on Add, enter the date. You'll notice automatically the program is pre-selected based on the group setup. So the group is set up under this program, so it automatically is filled in for us. Then go down, enter our service category. I'll enter Interventions Delivered to Groups. Enter our Encounter Type. Enter our staff, enter our site. It's good when entering group activities to start at the top and work our way down through the encounter information. Right click over services activities provided to select services activities provided. And here we have a listing on the left, all services, activities provided. And select 
we would use the arrows or double click to move those over to selected services activities provided. Click on done. Here under prevention related information, if there was incentive provided, a cycle number designated, session number, those could be entered. Now we're ready to take attendance by clicking Locate Clients. So when we click Locate Clients, here we'll see a listing of all of those clients who are enrolled in the group for the day of the encounter information. To take attendance, we would simply put a little check in this column marking the client attended. Additionally, if we right click over the list of names, you'll see the following options. Mark all attended. So if we want to check everybody off, we could click mark all attended. If we want to start over, we could mark all not attended. And that would remove the check and we could then start over. Once complete, we would then click Save. Thank you for joining us for this AIRS online video tutorial. Please visit www.airsny.org for other online tutorials, user resources, and the latest updates about AIRS.